Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And let's try to understand how to run independent sample t-test in Java only. I'm using here the employee data in which I'm having a categorical variable gender, male, female. Job category, three job categories are there, clerical, custodial, and managerial. And I'm having one continuous variable that is salary. Now I want to compare that the salary which is being paid in male and female, is it significantly different or not? So my research hypothesis is male employees, this is I'm talking about research hypothesis. Male employees are paid more salary in comparison to the female employees. I'll convert this research hypothesis into the statistical hypothesis. There is no significant difference in salary of male and female. Alternatively, it can also be written as there is a significant difference in salary of male and female. Or it can also be written as there is no significant difference in salary according to the gender. Alternatively, it can be written as there is a significant difference in salary according to the gender. Or in some books, it is written as mu1 is equal to mu2. It means that uh, there is no significant difference in mean salary of male and female. Remember the word mean. Or in other words, or the alternative hypothesis, there is significant difference in salary of male and female, mean salary. Okay. Now I want to run the independent sample t-test. For this, I'll go in t-test, activate the independent sample t-test. In Jamovi, it will be clearly indicated that which type of variable you have to insert in this cell and which type of variable in this cell. So in grouping variable, you can have a nominal or ordinal uh, variable. In uh, dependent variables here, it, you can only have a scale variable. So I'll transfer the salary here. And then I'll transfer the salary in the grouping variable. So I've got the result of t-test. But before interpreting anything about the t-test, it is essential that we check the assumptions of homogeneity. So click on homogeneity and also click on descriptives. Okay. Now, I'll simply copy this result in my word file. This is a homogeneity of Varian's test that is a Levin's test. I'll just copy this result and its p-value is less than 0 0.01. What is my interpretation? As a p-value of the Levin's test for equality of the variance, which is 0 0.00, which is less than 5% level of significance. So we reject null hypothesis that all variances are equal. So we cannot run the t-test but just for our understanding purpose, we will proceed from here. I'm again repeating, as the variances are not equal, we cannot run this test right now. But just for the understanding purpose, we will proceed further. Now, you will have to see the, this value, independent sample t-test. Here also, its p-value is less than 0 0.01, which means that as the p-value of the t-test is 0 0.00, which is less than 5% level of significance, so we reject null hypothesis, which means that the mean salary of male and female are not equal. The mean salary of male is $41,441, which we got from this one. This one, by clicking on descriptives. And the mean salary of female is $26,000. $31, this figure. And the p value, this value, 0, 0.00, we got from here. So we can conclude that males are paid more in comparison to females. For more videos on Jamovi, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the like button. You can also see my playlist in which I already uploaded many videos on Jamovi.